this for a year. And it opens up like this. And, and Jimmy's meant to get emails. I brought it back to the store twice, but if there was anyone in the audience who would know how it works, because I don't. When I think of blogs and want to defend them, I think they're like newspaper columns, only much better, because yeah. they're shorter mm. and more to the point. And more There's variety of opinion, too. More variety of opinion. The problem, insofar as there is one, is the, is the people who read them. You mean they don't need anything else? But no, no, I mean, the people who, anyway. I mean the people who comment, uh, where it's a sort of dunciad like Hades uh, going on. <laughs> it does add to freedom in the same way as the pamphlet added to freedom, but it's hard to think quite uh, how that, that, that is essentially different from somebody producing quick pamphlets for quick distribution urgent, something urgently said that really might end up being um, valuable as a literary source eventually, but isn't intended to be. The, the texture of writing is slightly changing, actually. If you look at the, sort of the, the specific gravity of, say, literary fiction, I think it's less dense than it was. I don't know if it's because of the internet or it's just a coincidental thing. I think that the the collapse of the net book agreement in, in Britain and the rise of the chain stores here has got as much to do with changes in, in how people read and what people write and the huge number of very, very poor novels that are published every week and that come into our office. Um, I, I think that's much more to do with it than the internet. But 20 odd years ago we used to argue about um, the idea of difficulty as a virtue, you know, that that was a sort of contested subject in the office because we sometimes published very difficult pieces and would argue about whether they were kind of actively putting people off. I've noticed that in literary culture in general, the idea of difficulty as a virtue has basically died in my adult lifetime.